so I got a new MacBook from Aaron's and you know I was upset filming this because the angling is so bad like I feel like I look like a potato like why did I have to like put the camera like below me like I'm over here like hi you guys <laughs> But you know what? We're raw over here. We're authentic. We're not perfect. We have some fat. We're human, unapologetic. Um, but yeah, I kind of hate the angle and I feel like I look like a potato. So just so you know, like. I'm hot. It's just the angling is bad. Really bad. Cause I was really upset. I'm just so angry. And I thought I'd film this moment just so you guys can know, you're not alone in these horrible technical difficulties that Smash A loves to just choke you down with. Um, and if you don't know who Smash A is, I'll leave the link to that video in the description below. But just to briefly describe it, just to summarize it, it's like an entity. It's like a force. It's a monster that literally will destroy your plans through having inconveniences happen, technical difficulties happen. It just makes something it's just that big block in the middle of your path that's in your way and makes it seem like you, there is no way around it. It's like really hard to continue on doing what you were planning on doing to get to your goal with that block because it's trying to keep you from getting to your destination. And um, yeah, I did a video on the computer situation and I went to Aaron's and I got myself a new MacBook. I'm renting it. It's like a hundred and something dollars a month which isn't too bad but the thing that pisses me off is that i just paid off my ever macbook i had a macbook from aaron's before i got it before i started my business and i was paying i mean i probably paid like three thousand altogether and i just finished paying it off like this year the beginning of this year only to find out only to now need a new one and I accepted that, you know, this is what it was. But um, I took the broken computer to the Apple store. I took the malfunctioning, stupid turd sauce computer to Mac to get fixed. And they actually, they took a couple days and they called me up and they said they fixed it. I guess Apple, they have like a tech thing where like they'll try to do everything they can to fix your device. And if they can't, then it has to be sent to repairs and you pay like around $500 to get it fixed and um, they called me up and I was so excited because they said that they fixed it. So it was like such a great deal for me because I already got the new MacBook and now I'm being told that my old MacBook works and it's been, I got it Saturday. So it's been two days and now it's frozen again on the Apple symbol. And it decided to shut down and freeze right before logging into a Zoom session for a podcast interview. So I'm just really upset. I'm so upset. It's like, wow, you couldn't have waited until my podcast interview was over. Like, why did you decide to stop working? Right when I was, I was literally in Zoom, like mic checking, you know, just like checking how I looked in the Zoom camera about to log in and then my computer just like shut off and it won't turn on. And I had like the podcast interviewer like DM me on Instagram, like, where was I? Like, if I was coming or not, that she logged off. And it just doesn't, it's not a good look. It's not a good look because we've been trying to get this podcast done for months. And something just always comes up, not just with me, but like both of us, like we'll end up like, both of us will like end up having to reschedule. And it's like, I've been waiting. <laughs> And it's like we've been like rescheduling it for like at this point like half a year now and like we finally got it scheduled for today and I was ready today and I was logged into zoom and now my computer doesn't want to work and now we have to reschedule again that's if she even wants to reschedule again because we've been rescheduling so much and I just feel like it's so rude to just cancel last minute I hate that that's like one of my biggest pet peeves it's like the one of the biggest forms of disrespect is to just cancel last minute or to be extremely late and not have some huge, huge, like ginormous apology. Like I'm talking bouquet of flowers apology if you're that late. 
because like time is precious you don't get that back you know and it's just I was, it was out of my hands I couldn't have predicted that would happen because it was working fine since I brought it back from the Apple store but I guess it's I guess it's broken broken because they said they fixed it and now it's just the way that it was before I brought it in to get fixed so I think I'm gonna have to pay $500 for repairs but it's just like if I'm gonna be real honest I'm just like not in a financial place right now to do that like Pepsi had like to go to the emergency ER because she was sick and I didn't know what it was and they had to do blood work and everything and they found out it was just like she had low white blood cells or something so they had to put a shot in her and that was like $800 out of nowhere like life is so expensive for no reason like if like the majority of America doesn't have more than $200 in their savings account why is America so expensive Like, if the majority of America doesn't have more than $200 in a savings account, why does it cost me $2,000 to pay for my broken foot that I didn't ask to have? I'm angry, and I thought I'd share this anger with you, for those who have that anger, too. I'm just so aggravated. It's like, I'm 23 years old, and yes, I have a business, and yes, I have a YouTube channel, but I'm not big, you know? I get my clients here and there. But it's not like a consistent flow, you know? And I don't think it's a consistent flow for everyone. I think it's normal to not have like consistent 10 game months all the time. But like that's what is sold to you. And, you know, for a while I beat myself up for not being there yet. Now I've accepted that, you know, honestly, I'm setting myself up for like a lot of other streams of income. So when it comes to coaching, it's not really much of a necessity. I just want to have like literally seven streams. Of, you know how like Ariana Grande has seven rings? I want seven streams of income and seven rings. Like I already have one, two, three, like four sources of income. And I'm working on a fifth. And I might have a sixth this year as well. Like I am not joking. This world like... How do you like thrive in a world where it costs so much to live unless you have some sort of financial support from your parents or from family or like from a partner or like some type of inheritance? Like I don't have any of that. So what do I do? You know, I'm not going to sit here and shove sales up people's throats. Like, yes, sell, but I'm not going to sell out of a place of scarcity. That's not the way I run my business. I like to sell when I'm feeling abundant. I know that probably sounds really stupid to some people, especially sales coaches, but that's just how I am. I don't want to feel grimy about it. I feel like, I don't know, you honor yourself and your time more if you're not like in a scarcity mindset. Like if I get on a sales call with someone that I don't like and someone that I know isn't a good fit, if I'm broke and I need money, I'm probably going to be like, okay, whatever. Let me just like let this slide and let me take her as a client because it's good money. But if I'm in a place of abundance and happiness and like life is going good and I don't need the coaching money, then it's like, okay, I can pass up on that offer. And that's how I like to run things. So I'm not going to like sit here and like try to like choke people with my offers, but I do have services and everything and what not but yeah that's just my little rant my little ranty rant small business owner truck <laughs> no but let me know if you can relate let me know if you can relate to uh your life falling apart <laughs> hashtag life falling apart gang no but i'm just so aggravated like oh wow Clearly, my pipes haven't been piping the same, you know, since I've been. Um, I don't do it that much, but I do feel like it affects my throat. Um, let me see. Why? Why? I guess that was all right. I'll give it like a six out of ten of what I could have gave it.
just in case y'all bitches want to but yeah, I mean, the game plan now is just to like pull $500 out my butthole. And um, I don't even know how long repairs are going to be. Like I was so happy. I was so, so happy that I got my computer back because the new computer, Aaron's, I guess, updated the Apple computers that they have. So the Apple computer that I got from Aaron's has like a whole different type of vibe. Like it has a different HDMI output. So now I have to have a separate thing to plug in my microphone. I have to have a separate thing. Like I had to get a new charger. I had to like, I ordered the extension for like the Sims card for like HDMI because the new MacBook I have from Aaron's doesn't have that. And I canceled the order because I was like, oh my God, my MacBook is fixed. I don't need it. Send it back. And yeah, now I have to reorder the extension and it just sucks. I literally logged into so many things on this computer. I'm just aggravated about so many things at once. <laughs> just so many little things, like, all trickling all together. <laughs> like, I, when I told you last night, I was, like, logging into my Facebook, forgot my password, new password. Won't need to do that again because I don't need to log into a Never computer again. I mean, I have it on my Ever computer too, but like I logged into more on my original like broken computer because I knew this is my forever computer and now it's broken again. So <laughs> life is awesome. YouTuber things. I just wanted to share this moment to show that no matter how shitty things become, no matter how bad things get, you don't let that stop you from what you want out of life. You're bigger than that. You're stronger than that. You gotta let Smash Day know that nothing can stop you. Not today, Satan, not today. Cause like the only other option besides that is to like beat yourself up over something that you couldn't even control and panic. Like what is panicking gonna do for you? I might have a little breakdown. I might, but at this point, I think I've had enough breakdowns, so. I'm just like chilling. I'm glad that I have this laptop beside me. It's just, I couldn't even like hop on my other computer for the podcast I had scheduled today because I don't have the extension to plug in my Yeti microphone to do the podcast. So it's just really aggravating to me. Like I was really excited to do this. I haven't done a podcast interview in a minute because I took a break from my business for a little bit because I was a depressed duck when I broke my foot twice and had to remove a lot of important people out of my life because people suck. But yeah, um, you don't suck and I don't suck, which means that we're winners. And no matter what battle comes our way, we can defeat it in case you needed a reminder.